morning. How are you doing? I'm here at Charlie Fraser at breakfast, and you were just talking about what I would call intuitive problem solving. Can you can you repeat that? Okay, okay. So, so in in the garden, we. Uh, it's me. Really, I'm in the garden. Uh, Nick, uh, he, he wants to be famous too. Uh, uh, not to, not your time, maybe. Uh, um, but uh, in the garden, we work with uh, uh, the plants, and we talk about like uh, like the shame is the animist cultures. Everything's consciousness, right? Uh, our, our mind creates materiality. The desire to see creates your eyes. The desire to hear creates your ears, and everything that can be heard. Uh, the desire, the self cherishing creates the other. So when we're working with plants, we like joining our consciousness with the plant, asking it questions, listening for the feedback, like feeling, intuiting, like you're, what is this? What is that? How does that work? You know, like we're Hamid doing problem solving anyway right but you're engaging with it like a living creature because it's part of your own mind it's part of the one mind that created us man so when I'm working with electronics here like here we've got this tetratron driver which is a power stage for our zero point energy technologies and I'm trying to understand how it works I'm coming at this completely from a not an understanding of electronics but I understand electrons I try and like get on the circuit so what's happening I've been electrocuted I don't know what that feels like right so that feeling these electrons are pulling down the, the wires and then they're coming to a diode I look on Wikipedia what the hell is a diode right it's something that like resists or, 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 or let's say a transistor when it gets enough set, uh, current in one direction it will open up a gate that will allow it to go in another direction right so then you have a sort of a gateway okay so the energy is going there you visualize the path of it and just like you would the fuel going into an engine but blowing up inside a chamber turning the piston which turns the crankshaft which turns the wheels right we're doing this with electronics so I'm trying to understand it actually in terms of what's physically going on and that's so that's the way that I use for <laughs> But just like you, uh, you visualize it and put your mind into it and um, understand every single physical process. But like you feel the electrons as they saturate a capacitor. You like really visualize it. It's saturating up. It gets to that point where it can't hold any more electrons, and then it's like that. Or it's it's now a voltage enough where another gate is open. Then when that's levels open, so you're having these different levels of things. And then eventually, what we've got is kind of an engine that's pulsing. Bah, 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 bah. And it's like uh, jumping on a bridge, just the right timing. You're creating this huge standing wave in this like, subtle uh, uh, level on the vibrational continuum. High, high level, high frequency standing wave, right? And now you've got this woof, 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 huge oscillation going on in the ether. And now you're tapping energy back out from that. And like, once you get the standing wave going, you can start to like, you know, yeah! <laughs> it's a really good way to store energy in a subtle area. You just start it up like, but you're tapping it just the right time. So this is me trying to understand this stuff. So we ask them questions like, what is going on? From That's the method that I use. If that's called intuitive stuff, it would make it sense. <laughs>